Hi, it's Trisha from Gulf Coast Ultrasound Institute coming at you with another hot tip today. Our hot tips are designed to provide quick, practical insights to help you enhance your ultrasound skills. Whether you're a beginner or seasoned practitioner, these bite-sized lessons are sure to provide valuable knowledge that you can apply right away in your practice. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any new hot tips. Enjoy! So here's a tip. This is for evaluating fetal situs. And I know this can be really tricky if you have a tough time and I'll be really transparent for a very long time. I had a hard time with that three dimensional anatomy. It's tricky. So this is a really nice trick for making sure that and be, be very careful to what I'm going to say, making sure that the stomach and the heart are on the same side. So in this particular image, based on how this fetus is lying, we can see that the fetal spine is at the same level and the same location. So the fetus hasn't moved positions from one image to another using a dual screen approach. Uh, and you can see the stomach is over here on this side of the screen. Notice how I'm not saying the left side of the screen. Technically, we don't know that. And this heart is on the same side and pointing towards the side of the stomach. Now, if we are to confidently evaluate this fetus and know that it is a cephalic presentation, then this is the left side of the fetus. So by annotating your image using a dual screen approach, we are really proving that this fetus is head down and that the stomach is truly on the left side and the, the heart is also pointing leftward. Okay, so dual screen is a great way to show your radiologist or your perinatologist and assure yourself that the situs is correct. We don't want to assume that just because the heart and the stomach are on the same side, that they are on the left side. So there's heterotaxies, there's situs inversus, things like that, um, that you don't want to miss because you just assume they look like they're on the same side. So hopefully that makes sense for everybody. And using this dual screen approach is really great for looking back and helping you with that three-dimensional understanding. And that's our hot tip for today. Now you give it a try.